Wait, you're that blonde traveler who's on a journey to all corners of Javat, right? I thought he said dumb traveler, God damn it. You bet I do. <sighs> I was worried I wouldn't be able to find you. I have a letter for you, you see. It's from another outlander. He was a crafty fellow, let me tell you. Took advantage of a loophole in our mailing system by opting for guaranteed delivery, then filling in the most obscure mailing address I've ever seen. Well, we are always on the road, so yeah, it's pretty tough to get mail to us unless we happen to go to the post office on a whim. So, um, what address did that That's person so funny. give you anyway? Uh, he just wrote, <clears throat> next to a small, white-haired, talking fairy. What? So the address is Paimon? Yeah, exactly, right? And if I'd failed to deliver the letter, I'd have been bound by regulation to compensate him. Really, he got me good. I count myself very lucky that I ran into you here. God damn it. The other day we were taking, like, there was a story quest or something, and... Uh, they were sending invitations and they had invited uh, the traveler and we were talking with a friend uh, where the fuck do this do they send the letters because like it's not like the traveler has a home or like a base so this is it's hilarious that they are they are answering this in this fucking quest being like oh they just send the letters to the white haired fairy floating thing Sure, that will make it to a traveler. That makes sense. Why not? Of course. Here God it damn is. it! All yours. That's so funny. Come on, Hyma wants to have a look too. Ah, why is the font weird? Okay, it's been a while. How have you been? I've heard that the two of you are traveling in Sumeru, and I happen to be in Port Ormos on official business. Lately, I've been stopping by Jafar's Tavern for a drink or two every afternoon. If luck's on my side and this letter successfully reaches you, come to me then and we can catch up on all times. We'll see. We'll see it as a fated encounter. Your trusty buddy, Gaia? Isn't this? Gaia. Okay. So he's here in Sumeru. Hmm. Great, now yeah, Sumeru has... More POCs in it. This is definitely Gaia's style, yeah, he for sure. The letter, it looks like he didn't think there was much chance of it reaching us. Hmm. Or maybe he's just being sneaky. <sighs> Do you mm. think he's making this sound like a miracle of fate so that we'd have to go meet up with him? I mean, probably. Eh, yeah, you're right. It's always nice to see old friends. The letter says that he hangs out at Jafar Tavern every afternoon. Perhaps we should drop in on him then, huh? I wish I could find... Uh, where was the... I'm trying to find some... Why am I here, though? No, I don't want to be here. I need to find something on my own. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow on forever. Uh-huh. So you say. And I'm sure you know all about the wind, honey. Okay, where are we going now? Really, I have to wait. Following afternoon 16. <laughs> Uh, where's the time thing? Here. Following afternoon, past 16. That's really right. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I'm not gonna do that. Mm, okay. Oh, it's like right here too. Like it's not even. I don't even have to go to like other parts of Sumeru City. I just have to like walk 50 meters. Oh, there he is! Hello. It's been so long. Oh, okay. Sure. 
Let's have a cinematic. I'll have something I haven't tried yet, boss. Uh, sorry, sir. I'm afraid you've already tried every type of liquor we serve. Oh? Well then, just the oh. bill, please. Well That's then. just as well, I suppose. I do have other matters to attend to. Kaya, you're really here! I'm on half that you're playing some sort of prank on us. Hey, Paimon. Why would he lie? Traveler. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. And come now, I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good friends. <laughs> Wait a second. You must be here on official business, right? What do you think you're doing spending every afternoon drinking at the tavern? You itching for a lecture from Dean? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> the acting Grand Master positively terrifies me. Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? The truth is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry here. So of course. despite how it might look, I'm actually at Jafar Tavern for strictly business purposes. Sumeru spices are famous the world over. It's long been rumored that this Why wouldn't the drunk be here for alcohol, right? A very popular spiced cocktail was invented. That's why the knights sent me, their foremost expert in alcoholic beverages, to come and see if it is as good as the rumors say. And like I said, drunk. Move? So far, so good. I'm already in talks with some spice merchants in Port Ormos about some potential collaboration. Yeah, that does sound like a great business opportunity. Guess Don Winery and Master D. Luke are gonna make a tidy sum from this one too, huh? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether this lucrative opportunity gets passed along to Don Winery or not, Depends on how nice I'm feeling. <laughs> hey, using your job to settle personal grievances isn't very nicely, Captain. <laughs> I mean, it's who he is, I guess. Oh, what makes you say that? You can just smell all on your own, so you must be quite familiar with the place. Ah, uh, sure. I mean, we also came here on our own, <laughs> but like. Traveling on your own means you know places. Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, though. I just came here on the sly once, when I was very young. Hmm. And? Do continue. He, he probably won't. <laughs> Do I have to? When I said we could talk about the old times, digging up my past wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Sure, because why would you tell us more? Well, all sure, right, don't worry about since it. you're so interested. Like I said, I was very young then. Don Winery had only just taken me in. I overheard my adoptive father talk about sending a team of merchants to Sumeru during a business meeting. I'm sure you'll agree that everyone's curious about their roots on some level. And my roots? They're in Conria which is said to have been located deep underground, somewhere near Sumeru. So, what we what people were saying in theories is actually kind of true, that Kyanre is like near Sumeru. Could it be beneath the desert, maybe? And that's why the shirt was doing bullshit? And so I stowed myself away amidst the cargo and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to Sumeru. It wasn't long before the merchant delegation received news that I'd gone missing. Their leader promptly found me, and before I knew it, my adoptive father was dragging me back home by the ear. It was a short-lived adventure. Sorry I don't have a more thrilling story for you. <laughs> Speaking of Conria, how much do you know about it? Honestly, not much. The only reason I knew that Conria was near Sumeru is because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. There he is! My life had less and less to do with Conria as I grew up, and so I started caring less as well. I used to believe that I had inherited some sort of duty from my father. But then I began to wonder. Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to give me a happier life. A happy life sounds good to me, of course. Even if it means being cut off from certain things. 
This is obviously all speculation. Simply put, I'm afraid that I'm not particularly in the know on this topic. These days, my surname, Albrecht, is probably the only link to Conria that I have left. One death afternoon, please, boss. Tell me, what do you know about the significance of that name, Alberich? Okay. Dainted? Ah, you've decided to join us. I was wondering how long you planned on listening in. I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. Dainsliff, if I'm not mistaken. So you remember me. Then we are already acquainted, Kaya Alberich. Descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. Excuse huh? me? The founder? What? What? Same. I take it that you weren't aware of this until now, Kaya. Or you wouldn't have been so forthcoming with your surname. Oh my. That's quite a lot of baggage for a surname, isn't it? Though I must say, it does confirm an old suspicion of mine. I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt after all. I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. <laughs> well, perhaps Come what on. you told me just happens to answer some questions I carry in my memories. And in any case, I recognize your eyes. You're a pure-blood Conrian, aren't you? Very clever. Forgive me for being direct, but I sincerely hope this new knowledge doesn't change anything. If you've already let go of your ties to the past, then keep it that way. Kaya, you're not involved with the Abyss Order in any way, are you? Hey, hold on now. This conversation has taken a rather sudden turn for the deadly serious. And I'm afraid that as someone from Mondstadt, I'm not accustomed to this sort of atmosphere. So what if I know my ancestry? Do I strike you as the type who would be bound by that kind of thing? Relax. I'll be just as delighted to hunt down the Abyss Order tomorrow as I have always been. I... I think, I guess. I don't... Not that I don't trust Kaya, but I also don't, don't trust him, you know what I mean? Either way, Looks like we're out of time. I've got a spice merchant to meet in a minute, so I'll leave the three of you to carry on the conversation without me. You just yoink. Well, all right then. You go do your thing, Kaya. See you around. And Dainsliff, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. Let me buy you a drink. You don't really trust him, do you, Dane? You're both from Conria, but you get on like oil and water. The fact is, I still do not know him well. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclusions. But can sure. a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? This remains to be seen. That's... Uh, that's pretty... At least xenophobic. At worst, it's kind of racist. So you said then an Alberic founded the Abyss Order as I thought my sibling was the founder. Well, I suspect that they call your brother their prince, precisely because there is a succession of sorts. Her face. Oh, so if he was the founder, he'd be the king, right? So what are you gonna do here, Mr. Mer? Why is she defecting from the question? I like, keep asking God. Oh god damn it. This fucking traveler, I the way we just keep asking questions. I mean to investigate the Loom of Fate. Do you remember that name? Yeah, the Abyss Order's evil plan. We learned about that back in Mondstadt. Not new, not exactly. My memories suffer from erosion. But while I was recovering my health recently, I suddenly remembered something. Your brother, he mentioned the Loom of Fate Back when we traveled together. All the way back then. So that was already, I think, several centuries ago. 
Uh, centuries, I suppose. Apparently so. I was also quite surprised when these memories tallied up. I recall that we were traveling to Sumeru when the matter was brought up. So, you're going to the place that he mentioned back then? Correct. At that time, they must have been introduced in one way or another to this concept. If I recall correctly, we were somewhere in a Vidya forest then. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Maybe we'll discover some secret that's lain hidden for hundreds of years! No. Now is not the time. Are you concerned about the Abyss Order? Uh, are we waiting for the perfect moment? No, it's just... I'm still waiting for my drink. God damn it. Dane? Damn. Go to a place Dane's Leaf mentioned in... Who the fuck knows how far this is? Uh, on top of there... Uh, oh, I guess I can go here. So I can like quickly walk down, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Didn't I free an Aranara here, I think? Feels like the place. Ah, I did it too far off. But the aura is still present. This place, it's familiar. What about it? It looks pretty normal to Paimon. Was it like this hundreds of years ago too? Yes. The forest has barely changed from how I remember it. There is very little human activity here, after all. Let's search the area and see what we can find. Kinda weird, not gonna lie. Is this... a field? It must belong to whoever owns that house over there. But it looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. You could be forgiven for thinking nothing was ever grown here. Or... Wait, maybe nothing ever was grown here. That's... It looks like a farm. It's an extinguished bonfire. Forest rangers, perhaps? Looks like it's been ages since it was last lit. And clearly they put it out carefully to prevent a forest fire, too. That's responsible. Nothing else stands out in this area. All that's left is that building. Come on. Wait! We're just gonna go barging in? What if someone's home? Unlikely. There are no signs of life in this area. We should be able to enter without incident. I... sure. If you say so! Burglar well, extraordinaire, uh, Dane's Leaf. In the way then, Dane. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Sure, let's barge into someone's home. Why not? Uh, so there really isn't anyone home. <laughs> Ugh, this place is so dusty. Paimon bets no one's lived here in years. This bed looks pretty ordinary. Huh, there's nothing underneath it either. What sort of person would want to live here? It's so dark and damp. Can't be all that comfortable. I love that I get them marked like one out of three. Like the space is very reduced. Hey, I can look. see them. It's a bull. Guess whoever used to live here liked to cook, huh? Can't you smell it? There's a heavy scent of medicinal herbs in here. So it's a medicine ball? Hmm. Seems you're right. You've got a good nose on you, Dane. 
Dean. It's all those Kenrian jeans. I guess. There's a box over here. Why don't we open it? Uh, and by we, Paimon means you. Huh? Paimon's just scared that whatever's inside might bite her fingertips off. In the world is going through your head, you sure are going places with your paranoia. I mean, maybe it's a mimic. Huh? This is a mirror. It's broken too. Was this a makeup box? All right, the mirror from the trailer. Are we finding lapis lazuli inside of it? Mm, that's kind of disappointing. Paimon was hoping we'd uncover some super big secrets. Especially after Dane talked this place up. Dane. <laughs> he just can't when they call him Doesn't Dane. Look like there's anything else worth their attention here. You sure we're in the right place, Dane? My memories are quite foggy, but my subconscious and instincts both assert that something once happened here. But we'll exhaust ourselves if we search aimlessly. Hmm. I hear noises outside. Let's go and check. Noises? Is it? It's not much. Just some minor adversaries. Okay, I guess we are fighting. What are we fighting? Monsters? Fungi? Yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, like fungi. Lines? I, I already did. <laughs> right now. Oh, right now. Illusion shattered. Squad fury. Search for it. Know your place. <laughs> I doubt that the appearance of those monsters was wholly random. There must be something nearby that attracted them. A ley line anomaly, perhaps. Hmm. But it seems to be more than that. Okay. I'll go slightly further out to investigate any issues with the nearby ley lines. I might be a while. You should wait for me here. What? You're going alone? You better not be trying to keep some secret from us. <laughs> Your suspicions are as banal as they are unwarranted. I merely think that this house should remain the focus of our investigation. And as such, someone ought to stay here and keep an eye on it. Not to mention that if even forest rangers are capable of investigating ley lines, I will be more than able to handle it alone. <sighs> Fair enough. Guess we'll just camp out here then. Good thing there's a fireplace over there. Let's make ourselves something to eat. All this running around has made Paimon real hungry. Mm -mm. We're gonna get something to... Oh, do I... Do I really have to light it up? God dang it. It's gonna make me change the party. And we're gonna probably get into a fight. You're going home. Uh, where's Benny? Here. You think I've got a sharp? Oh my God! Did I not change it? Am I dumb? I won't hold you back. Much. Someone can. There. <laughs> the shadows. Uh, your cooking is as good as ever. Even if there was no other reason, the food alone would be enough for Paimon to stick with you. <laughs> <laughs> Changing the subject, Dane's taking forever. He said that there might be an issue with the nearby ley lines. How bad do you think it could be? <sighs> we came together, but now it's back to just being the two of us again. You know, now that Paimon mentions it, 
We really have spent lots and lots of time together, haven't we? Um, so... Don't take this the wrong way or anything, but... Uh... Do, do you ever get tired of Paimon being around? Oh no, that's a, such a sad question to ask. Ah, you make my day. Aww, I like Paimon. Stop it! Now you're embarrassing Paimon. My voice is kind of annoying sometimes, but like, I so, like her. Uh, next question. Don't know if it's okay to ask this, but Paimon's curious. What was it like traveling with your brother? Oh, okay. We're getting all the lore lamp. The uh, stars. We'd gaze at the stars just like this, and with point and the planets we wanted to visit. We traveled through the universe, always by each other's side. We saw all manners of hope and despair. This is the first time we've ever been separated, if nothing else. I just want to know what happened. Yeah, uh -oh. I don't understand. Being separated without even knowing the reason why. It's just terrible. But we'll find yeah. the truth together. Sure as Paimon's your guide. Just you wait, Heavenly Principles. And you too, Tavat. <laughs> uh, you know what? We've talked too long about this sad stuff. Let's talk about something happy instead, because if you're sad, my mom will be too. Oh, I feel like by the end, if Paimon dies, I'm rioting. All right, all right. It's getting dark. For sure. So why don't you rest? Paimon will take first watch. Don't worry, no monster's gonna come and eat you up. Come on, don't say that. Paimon just wants to look after you for once. <laughs> Nighty night. Go on, chew. Off to sleep. Hey, time to wake up. The sun has risen. This is this looks fucked up. Why am I all blurry? What a deep sleeper. You do know that we need to hmm? tear stains. You dreamed of your sibling last night, didn't you? Aww. All right. Rest here a bit longer then. I'll head into the forest to investigate. Where are you going back into the forest? <sighs> ah, she makes noises! I'm so happy when they let her talk. But he has slept till morning. Why didn't Paimon wake me up to switch shift? Hang on a minute. Where is Paimon anyway? So, like, we are dreaming, isn't it? Are we inside the mirror? I vaguely remember Dane coming over. Did Paimon go into the woods with him, seeing how I hadn't woken up yet? Whatever the guess looks like. It's just me for now. I guess it's time to stretch my limbs and have a look around. Wait. Did that noise come from inside the house? I should go inside and check. I... I'm fully convinced that... Oh, I can't change? No, I can't change my party. I don't... I hate that. Can I teleport? Oh, yeah. Of course. Uh, at least I'm not trapped with a super shitty team. I mean, it's not even a shitty team, let's be honest. What? What do you think you're doing? What the fuck I want, dude? This place is not whatever you think it is. Nor should you be poking your nose into my business. Be gone. <laughs> Whoa, just calm down. Your travel companion. You're being too you loud. The one that was keeping watch by your side last night. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's creepy. Your companion departed for the forest early this morning. That much I saw with my own eyes. I thought so still. I don't know if I can trust this person. You were nearby last night. That's fucked up. What business is that of yours? Hmm? All you need to know is that I claimed this place first, and what I do here is none of your concern. Do I make myself quite clear? Leave. Damn. Well, what are you waiting for? I don't think I'll have much luck trying to find my companion in the woods. I think I'm better off waiting here for them to come back. <sighs> I mean, yeah. Must suit yourself. You stay put until people find you. I've been observing you. And you don't look like a forest ranger, nor someone from the academia. Still, I'm warning you, no funny business. Promise me that, and you can do as you please. <laughs> I'm no villain, nor will I pretend to be a saint. We are nuanced. Okay, fine. Whatever. Just move aside. I'm heading in. You... <laughs> Oh, go on then. Have it your way. I knew I wasn't going to be able to hide this anyway. Just, just come in. But no overreacting to anything you see in here, okay? You understand me? Yeah, sure. Come yeah. on then. Open the door. What am I going to find? What? If, what? What a killer Charles? A fuck? Yeah. Why do you keep a killer at home? Mind your own business, and don't worry. He isn't aggressive. <laughs> How could he be? He was too young for anything like that. So don't you lay a finger on him. Just find yourself a corner to rest if you're tired or cold. I mean, yeah, he has the pupils. He has to be from Conria. Huh? You know Conria? Who are you, exactly? And how do you know I'm from Conria? Uh, your clothes, your eyes. Do you worship a god, traveler? I follow no god. In fact, I count some of them as my foes. I... Some kind of real, like, an atheist type of place. And at this point, I would say the Sarit sites kind of a foe for us so let's call them foes hmm. sounds like you've had an eventful life <laughs> all right well um, my name is ida and you are correct i was once conrian uh, oh I, I apologize for my earlier hostility but you must understand as, as far as i'm concerned humans who do not worship the seven are nigh extinct and all who place faith in the gods are my enemies. Uh, spoken like a true Kynrian, yeah. That may be. But the fact is that chances to talk to people like yourself have been few and far between since the Cataclysm. This wretched curse of immortality. Who knows how long I must continue to suffer like this i mean it is called immortality the curse <laughs> it was a little gift 
given to the people of Conrea by those vile gods. We lost our home, our loved ones, everything. The agony of the cataclysm itself was already too much to bear, but then came the curse robbing us any chance of release. All we can do is watch helplessly as our souls erode and our bodies decay. Uh, it's just like paying someone who bears the curse of immortality. I mean, yeah. So why did you... Why did some people turn to Hilatorals while you were afflicted by this curse instead? Because... Although Conria began with a single bloodline, it was... A home to others, too. Any who forsook their gods and came to Conria were welcomed as our fellow citizens. When the Cataclysm came, we pure-blood Conrians were declared the greater sinners. Upon us, the gods placed the curse of immortality. But... Those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of other gods were punished with the curse of the wilderness as they fled, turning them into monsters. So, yeah, who was this Hilatrol to him? He is Kari Bear, my illegitimate son. <sighs> How times have changed. <laughs> I can say that out loud with no consequence now, but oh, it was once a matter of unspeakable shame. I was a noble of Conria. I resented the life that my family had arranged for me. And then, one day, I met a beautiful woman amongst the people. Her roots were in Mondstadt, but... That mattered not to me. It was love at first sight. <laughs> Kari Bear faced great hardship from the very moment of his birth. All due to my selfish desires, and, and I was never able to be there by his side for any of it. And after all that, he turned into a hilly troll right before my very eyes. I always owed him much, and now I, at least I can finally be close to him. Well, that's sad. I mean, she's probably either dead or a healer troll as well. She was. <laughs> we were separated. I do not wish to dwell on it. <laughs> it could be worse. I suffer the pain of loss because I once had everything I could wish for. <laughs> and now, now that I have lost almost everything, the little that remains I see with new clarity. If nothing else, at least I still have Curry Bear. <laughs> the fact that his name is kind of Care Bear, it's, I don't know. Kind of funny, in, not funny, haha, -ha, funny. Mm. Ah, yes, I, that reminds me. I, I only returned here to check on Curry Bear, but I do have other things I wish to do. You may come with me, if if you're uh, so inclined. Sure, because this man is totally not a creep. He's probably super healthy emotionally. Uh, give me a second. Head. Why isn't it changing? Relax. <laughs> Open the door. Where do I have to go? Here. Can I change my party? No, I can't. Quick, 
Is I, this is either a dream or like a time pocket. Here. I'm sure you're wondering why I brought Karibert here to Sumeru. Well, it's because he needs a medicine that can only be made here. One which will help him to recover his clarity of mind. Alarming trade. When we were at the chasm, Dane said... Curse cannot be undone. Is recovery even possible? I do not hope to break the curse. I am well aware of my powerlessness against the punishment of the can, gods. Can he, like, read my he mind? Said that this medicine is imbued with the power of Sumeru's god of wisdom and can awaken the mind from a state of deep stupor. It has been used in the past to treat cases of mania. <laughs> I believe that it might just work. <laughs> I read about it in a book. <laughs> he saw it on a TikTok. From the Royal Library of Conria. It was banned. <laughs> I mean, since this medicine requires the power of the seven to work. In my youth, I... I disliked the life of nobility and craved excitement. I was leafing through some forbidden text and happened upon it. I don't know who's voicing this dude, but he's doing a great job. You know, there must have been there must have been a reason it was banned. It sounds dangerous. I mean it does. What other choice do I have? Hmm? What Don't. exactly would you have me do, huh? The uh, gods have already I don't punished know. us. What does one more sin matter now? Uh, but that token become a genocidal maniac, then who cares? Like, that's not how the world works, dude. Uh... Never mind. As uh, long as you understand. I'm sorry. I struggle to take control of my mood sometimes. Perhaps a consequence of having lived too long. <laughs> As it happens, I am in dire need of some help to make this medicine. My hands don't have the dexterity they once did. I, uh, I fear they may be decaying from within. All thanks to this curse of immortality. <sighs> He's so okay. theatrical, I love him. To start with, uh, take this ingredient. Okay. I've been... Uh, also, uh, do you have any uh, of uh, Sumeru's regional specialties on hand? I know how I they show them. I called Palata Lotuses and Sumeru Roses. Uh... Yes, I have Wonderful. a few of them. Oh, in, in that case, Probably. we have everything we need. This is the method for making the medicine. You just need to follow the steps. Hmm. Wait, will I have to memorize it? Because I don't want to. This all can be fuck. I'm on the wrong side of the thing, obviously. I think I have some, but like, might as well pick ones that are around here. They are easy begins. Got, I, that's not what I wanted to press. Wait, what? Oh, I got, like, the recipe. Okay. Nameless taboo medicine of the royal court. I can only make one, but I have enough for two. Uh, strange mushroom. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That it's not. It's not like a good mushroom. 
Is it done? Oh, uh, yeah. Splendid. Let me see. Hmm. In all honesty, I do not know what the end product is supposed to look like. <laughs> The band book didn't feature any illustrations. <laughs> I mean, why would it? The moment has finally arrived. Curses. No, no. We need to perform one final step to complete the medicine. It's, I said before that this medicine relies on the power of the god of wisdom for its restorative effects <laughs> i have her on my team if you want some help we must pay a visit to a statue of the seven if he needs the god of wisdom's power should i get Mahira to help forget it Ayuri hates the gods could complicate things i'll just do it his Let's way go. bring the medicine with you I mean, I'm not gonna leave it here, you fucko. Thank God we have, like, that, that statue right there. God, no, that's not what I wanted to press. God damn it. I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to do this. I fucked up. Cool, I got killed. This statue. How can I bow before this thing? God of wisdom! Look at me! I will utter no prayer, nor will I sing your praises. You and your kind destroyed my home. Wrought unfathomable suffering on my compatriots, yet he... Here I stand before you. you. You cannot mock me more than fate itself already has. God of wisdom, I seek not to disavow myself of the sinful blood that flows through my veins. I wish only to beseech you to have pity upon a young and unfortunate soul, my son. Mm. Carabere. He was turned into a monster before he had the chance to witness anything beautiful in this world. This is no fate for a child. <laughs> if everything the gods have done was in order to have the impious people of Conria bow their heads, then I bow to you now. I have given up all I ever stood for. All I ask is for a tiny miracle. For Carabere to see this world once more. Please, God. I beg of you. Hmm. Poor dude. Poor kid. I may not know the whole truth behind the cataclysm, but the people of Kainrias have truly suffered. Why would why could Kain Rian just so not coexist in peace? I have made quite enough of a fool of myself for one day. I guess. 